My mommy came to fetch me at school. And I couldn't understand why she was so sad. Like, why? Like, why did she look like that? Um, I had TB and I started crying. Like, how will I get through this? So the treatment of MDR TB is much more difficult than the treatment of drug sensitive TB. Um, MDR TB, you're looking at five, six, seven drugs that um, need to be taken over a much longer period, nine to 18 months, depending on the site of the TB. I, I wanted to throw up every single time I took it. Kids affected by drug resistant tuberculosis have been systematically excluded from research and they've been systematically excluded from routine care. So we are really looking at the most deserving and the most underserved population here, specifically children. So we want to actually generate better evidence and ensure better treatments for children affected by drug-resistant tuberculosis. And this does not only include those who are already sick, but also actually preventing drug-resistant tuberculosis in children. At the Desmond Tutu TB Centre, we have previously led an effort where we've looked at every single child that we knew of in the world who have been treated for drug-resistant TB. We systematically reviewed all that evidence and looked at their treatment outcomes. And that actually informed the World Health Organization's policy and guidelines on how to treat children with MDR-TB. So Benefit Care stands for Better Evidence and Treatment for Children with Tuberculosis. The funder of this project is Unit Aid, and Unit Aid is very, very intent on ensuring that research that's undertaken or evidence that's gathered will directly inform WHO policy and practice. And it's essentially one large project with three different baskets under this big umbrella. And the one piece is actually looking at collating and combining all the existing evidence so that we can actually use that to inform immediately how we can better improve the treatment of children affected by drug-resistant tuberculosis. The systematic reviews are a really important piece of what we're doing. And you know, we really want the care of, of children with MDR-TB to be evidence-based. TB is a different disease in many ways in children than it is in adults. I mean, so we really want recommendations and treatment guidelines to be based on evidence from children themselves. Um, so the intent of these reviews is to pool all of the data that exists from many different studies from all over the globe to use um, some novel methods of analysis with our partners from the University of California, San Francisco, and to make sure that that informs treatment guidelines in the most evidence way possible. The second piece is actually about generating new evidence on how to treat children and prevent drug-resistant tuberculosis in children. And we're looking at very specific questions. So the first one is, can we generate high quality evidence to prevent drug resistant TB? And that is the TB CHAMP trial, that is to prevent drug resistant TB in kids. The Catalyst study will be looking at the safety and acceptability and the pharmacokinetics of two new, more child friendly formulations of moxifloxacin and clofazamine, which are two um, important MDR TB treatments. We're looking at um, very important TB medication, levofloxacin. And we are looking at if we use an adult or a child formulation, what dose to give. So it's kind of called a bridging study and that's called the PERFORM study. The delimited Crush study will help us understand how best to use the, the most widely available formulation of the delimited, which is a new TB drug and really important for children and, and, and adults. And this is important because in young kids, they can't swallow big, massive tablets. And then very excitingly, we have a study in very, very small babies, neonates, and that's called the Petite Study, not for nothing. And this is a study where we're very, very excited to partner with Unit A to look at antiretroviral therapy, looking at a fixed dose combination of four ARVs and one that can be given to very, very small babies where there's no evidence yet of how to use this formulation. Um, and then the last piece, um in, in partnership with the TB Alliance, we'll be working to develop some new child-friendly formulations of existing MDR-TB treatment medications. Making sure that the medications we want to give kids is actually child-friendly, that they can take it, that it is not awful, um, that it's palatable to them, and that it's high quality and that it's safe. We're working in close collaboration with the World Health Organization, um, because ultimately what we want is for this new evidence and um, this uh, reviews of the existing evidence 
to improve treatment and prevention guidelines. And so we'll be submitting all of this to the WHO with the intent that it actually um, is taken up into normative guidance and impacts on the care of kids and where they are out in the field. And many of these medications that we've been referring to are currently used for drug resistant treatment but they may have many other indications or uses or purposes in future, for example, prevention of drug-resistant tuberculosis or treatment of drug-susceptible TB. So their potential application and their potential market um, eventually may be much, much bigger. 